And I want to share with you a story. A student of a sheikh comes to him one day and he says to him, I want to see the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in my dream. I want to see him. What is the formula? What is the equation? How can I see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in my dream? And so the sheikh says to him, look, come over this evening and I will show you how you're going to see the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I'll tell you how. So he comes over and the sheikh prepares a meal for him. And on the table spread, he, he has food which is very salty. He puts a lot of salt in the food and there's a lot of pickles. And you know what this, what, 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 what this can lead to? Thirst. And there's no water on the table spread. No water. He says, Sheikh, some water please. He has no water. But Sheikh, khalas, no water. So he obeys his teacher. He's a good student, alhamdulillah. And so the Sheikh says to him, Inshallah, you now go inside and you sleep. And in the morning, I'll teach you how to see the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your dream. So the man goes to sleep, wakes up the next morning, Sheikh comes to him and says, so what happened last night? How did things go? Anything out of the ordinary? He says to him, Sheikh, I had dreams. Khair inshallah. What dreams did you have? He said, I dreamt I saw rain. I saw rivers. I saw oceans. So all of his dream was about what? Water. So the Sheikh says to him, he says to him, your intention was sincere, hence your dream was in conformity to that which you were truthful regarding. And if you were truthful regarding your love of the Prophet Sallallahu if that was true, then you would have seen the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in your dream.